Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Lost Thunder video, and today we're looking at the brand new Sigilith GX, and this card is pretty annoying, and we're going to look at it and see how it does today. So Sigilith GX is obviously a pretty interesting card. It's got an annoying ability called Mirror Counter. If this Pokemon's reactive Pokemon is damaged by an attack from a Pokemon GX or an EX, put damage counters on that attacking Pokemon equal to the damage Sigilith took. So, in hindsight... If a Zorak GX hit Sigilyph for 150 damage, they would take 150 damage right back at them, and then you knock him out with Sonic Wing. But the best part about Sigilyph, it can one-shot a GX one-shotter. If a GX one-shots you, and they do more damage than their HP, you knock them out also. So the idea is, is Sigilyph gets hit by Rayquaza GX for like 230 damage. They take 230 damage again, and they get knocked out in return. So Sigilyph for turn KOs a lot of Pokemon, which is pretty darn evil and annoying. So Sigilyph's combo is basically just that. And there are some fun things you can do with Sigilyph in that regard. So that's the idea behind Sigilyph, is just return the one-shot KO. Um, Sigilyph GX has two attacks. Both of them are actually decent. So Sonic Wing can hit for 80. This attack's damage is not affected by resistance. That's useful because you can go through a Zork GX. You can, with a choice band, hit Zork for 110 damage without the resistance, which is good. You two-shot Zork. Um, and 80 damage is pretty good, you know, with a choice ban, you one-shot a Buzzwool, and Intercept GX is a pretty good GX attack on some attackers. For a Psychic and a DC, you do 60 damage times the amount of energy attached to the most active Pokemon. So if your opponent has 3 energies on their active on a Buzzwool, or on a Dawn Wings, or say a Rayquaza, you one-shot them with Intercept GX, which is really good. So Sigilyph can hit good numbers, and that ability is just good. Again, if something like an Alternate Crosma does like 210 damage to you, if a Glissafion does 200 damage to you, which is the only way they can knock you out, they're going to get returning KO. So Sigilyph just does really good things with that ability. And the best way to play it is in more, I think more of like a disruption y build. Um, and I've used it also with Garbodor here with Trash Lanch, just 20 damage times the number of items in your post discard. Nice little late game sweeper. The problem with the Sigilyph is you might end up just tying the match if you just. You know, keep returning the KO. So Garbodor can help even that out a little bit. We're also playing a 2 1 Bayonet line in here. Bayonet can be useful with Shadow Chant. We actually do play a lot of supporters in this deck, so I threw in a Bayonet. You know, Shadow Chant come in handy. Shady Move is pretty good too. Smart things in the deck. We are playing Kartana. Oh, what do you mean, brother? <laughs> we got Kartana in here with Slice Off and uh, Blade. Now, my original build of uh the Sigilyph deck was playing stuff like the new Dialga which we're gonna look at eventually but we had Dialga in here with turn back time this attack is really good you one shot Sylveon Gardevoir you can one shot a Zork GX you can also one shot a Lycanroc if you know they aren't using the 670p Rock Ruff which is pretty common and yeah my original build played unit energies and dust main and you know the Dialga but I ended up just changing it up to a more psych heavy build with our boaters and stuff. But we are playing Kartan in here for the ability to slice off. We also have Blade and Gale Blade. Gale Blade can be good, obviously, with a choice band. You one shot and a Lola Ninetales GX. So that's really nice. And we also have Coco just for Fruit Treat and Flying Flip. And I am playing one Marshadow to go along with the whole disruption y type of theme. We are playing Treasure and stuff. Why not play Marshadow? We go into the other Pokemon. Of course, just tech stuff. Makargo's in here. Oranguru's in here. Now, this deck does not play Lele. We already play a really heavy count of supporters, so I didn't really see much fit for Tapu Lele. Like, there's a lot of supporters. But Lele, we can do without, so we don't need it. Instead, we have Makargo for the smooth over engine, and we have Oranguru in here also to kind of help that out. So that is it for the Pokemon count. Some tech cards. There's not really that many good psychic techs, if I'm going to be quite honest with you, but again, my original build was using, like, metal-type attackers. So let's go into the items now. And again, I play some Disruption cards. I got two Enhanced Hammers. Goes really well, you know, with Kartana. You know, Sigilyph is not, you know, getting damage. We can at least remove the damage on them. Again, you don't want to end up just Sigilyphing, tying the match. You kind of want to have an ability to be able to, like, stall them out a little bit. Take some prizes with Sigilyph before they get, before he gets knocked out. Then take two more prizes. So it's a pretty good combo. You can also, you know, break Sledgehammers and B-Strings combos. Uh, one copy of Field Blower to be able to get rid of tools to power up Trash Lanch. Two treasures. My original build did not play treasure. Thankfully, I remember to put treasure in the deck. Uh, two Nest Balls. One Stretcher, just common stuff. One Switch, you know, to switch something out. One way your opponent can try to get more on Sigilith is to bring out other Pokemon. We can switch them out of the active. Four Ultra Balls to search. Yes, two Ace Rolla. This is a very evil card with Sigilith. If Sigilith does not get one shot, it like, say Zoark just hits it for 160, and you just Ace Roll the Sigilith, bring out a new Sigilith, what are they going to do? That's why we are playing 
two copies of Ace Roll. It's just a really cool combo. Four Cynthia's for draw. Uh, three Guzmas. I bumped it up to three now. I feel like three Guzmas has to be the way to play now. Uh, one copy of Judge for Disruption. Th uh, we got three Lilies. Uh, two Kikuis. Nice little card with Macargo. Kikui is good though with Sigilyph. Um, hitting for 100, two shot stuff once again. Uh, one Sights here. Uh, two Choice Bands. And I'm playing two Spell Tags. I did pull a Secret Spell Tag in my pack opening, but Spell Tag's cool in here. Uh, obviously, when Psych Pokemon's card statue is knocked out by damage from opponent's attack, you put four damage on your opponent's Pokemon anyway. Like, really cool combo with Sigilyph is you it gets knocked out, and you're actually just a little short on the knockout with Mirror Counter. You can have Spell Tag on, and that will knock him out. So, really cool card. Uh, four DCs, really important to play this for Sigilyph. One Unit Energy, just mainly for the uh, Tartana, and then just six basic Psychic Energy for the Energy Count. And that is it for the Sigilyph Disruption deck. I don't really know what to call it. Let's just call it Sigilyph and Pals. And we're going to try it out here on PCGO. See the deck in action. Let's see what we can do with your boy Sigilyph. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go do some games with our deck. We're literally one KO off of getting two Celestial Storm packs. But I, it is no good to note that there are a lot of... Um, there's a lot of non-GX decks out there, right? That's one of the issues Sigilyph faces, though. When we get to a better format where there's more GXs, Sigilyph succeeds. I'm just hoping we don't play against too many non-GX decks, but knowing my luck, I'm just going to be playing against something like Shrine decks, which is, you know, what what I really like a lot. So, we are going to win the coin flip. I think we're up against an Exeggutor deck, though, unfortunately. We'll see. We are going to get a Sigilith start. We got to shop it. It's good Ultra Ball bait, I think. So, we'll see. Hopefully, we're not up against Exeggutor. Obviously, you know, we want to be playing against those GX decks. Ooh, not, okay. Um, Interesting. Now he goes interest. My opponent says a surprise face. I guess we give him the hello. I am an Ultra Ball. I'm going to get rid of Shuppet and Switch, I think. I'm just going to get Slugma down. Just try and get my cargo going ASAP. And uh, we'll just Cynthia. Mainly here, just looking for, you know, DC. No? Okay. That's fine. We got Ultra Ball for next turn. Actually, we'll play it. We'll get rid of Cynthia and Lily. And we will grab Trubbish. No, we'll grab a cargo. What? I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have done that, you know, knowing I was gonna grab a cargo. It's fine though. Maybe before we had judged, <laughs> that would really suck. Cause I just got rid of two of my supporters just to do that. That was a bit of an idiot. I, I meant to grab Trubbish there, cause I thought like, oh, I can Lily for a big hand, but then I remember to grab Slugma. So there you go. Thankfully though, Sigilyph is not weak to Psychic. That's one of the pauses about this guy. It's weak to Lightning, and it's got fighting resistance. Sigilyph has some pretty good traits. Uh, he's gonna Guzma, and I just got rid of my Switch. That's amazing. What does this thing do? Okay. You can confuse and poison me, which isn't bad. I mean, I can always draw into Guzma, I guess. I mean, I can grab Guzma quite literally with my cargo. What do you mean, brother? This is a mirror match. Oh my goodness. I did not expect to be in a mirror match. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Sheninja. That's a good idea. Sheninja with Sigilyph. With Malamar too, okay, interesting. Okay, just to avoid tentacles. Alright, I thought I was going to see more there. I can actually hit him for 10 damage with Magma Ring. Obviously, I don't want to do that though. Alright, so what do we draw? We drew Unit Energy. Okay, I think we will grab Guzma here. Quit smooth over for Guzzi, if it's in the deck. I can also, I guess I can get Ace Rolla actually. Yeah, we'll get Ace Roller instead, I think. Whatever, sure. Ace Roller works too. Uh, well, Lily, see what we get. Okay, we got Shop It. There's Coco. Coco's pretty big. Um, I don't know if... No, Mirror Counter doesn't do weakness, right? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. That would be pretty stupid if it did. Uh, we'll just have to attach all the basic energies to the Sigil. What is Ace Roller, my guy, next turn? We can knock out Nyla Higo here, thanks to Sonic Wing. And maybe we can take, like, an Intercept knockout if he doesn't attach that Sigilyph. I don't know. I don't really want to waste his energy, though. Okay, good. So he's not going to get it. He's just going to poison and confuse me again. That's fine. My opponent looks like he has a bit of an empty hand. That's pretty good. Let's see. We draw to Trubbish. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll smooth over for, I guess, Lily. Lily seems fine, and we'll ace roll it. Now, the only problem here is, potentially, 
potentially, you know, we walk in and intercept. But I think we're okay for now. We do have to play this unit, but we can always just get another Ace Roller, and we get Sonic Wing, knock him out, go from there. We'll see what our prize is. I would like, I think what I'm going to do is try and set up a chain combo where I hit this Sigalith, Ace Rolla, and then knock him out with our Boater, maybe. Oh, he's going to hit Trubbish, that's fine. Yeah, he's putting all the damage on me. Okay, so we'll see what we get our for prizes. <laughs> Another Trubbish. Hopefully we can get a Ranguru though. I did just get a Lily though, so we'll see. I think we'll just Lily for Ace Rolla. We'll do another Ace Rolla here. Just, you know, recover Sigalith and hit him right back. He is in top deck mode. Which is pretty good. So we'll put down Trubbish. Or Trubbish. We'll put down Garboder. We'll put down Macargo. Uh, we'll smooth over for Ace Rolla. So we can finish him off with Trash Lanch maybe. Let's play three items. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, we'll play Trubbish. I was going to save that for like an Oranguru, but we'll go for the Lily. And alright, this is perfect. I was looking I was looking for Choice Band. Now obviously we're going to get hit hard here. We're going to take 110 damage, but that's totally fine. We're not going to get knocked out next turn. I don't think he can attack me. He could potentially... um, He could potentially like switch into like another... I guess if he has more... Not, not Shin Ninja, but if he has more Nihilic Egos, he could go and then Void Tentacles me again. But we'll Ace Rolla, yeah, he can see that I was going to say, because we could Ace Rolla, attach Choice Band, well, we don't even need to get three items, so we could have just knocked him out Garboder. Uh, we are going to get two Celestial Storm Packs from that, but you can kind of see Sigalith. Obviously, my opponent was playing a Sigalith deck, so it was a bit of a meme there. It's kind of a Sigalith battle. But that's kind of why it's nice having Garboder. And those two Ace Rollers really came in handy there. This is why I like playing those two Ace Rollers. But we're going to open up two Celestial Storm Packs, just get them out of the way, and just hope we pull a Full Art Rayquaza. Or Rayquaza in general. I only have one Rayquaza still, so I still need to get some more. So we'll see what we get here in this pack. Double rare looks good. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Registeel is whatever. It's, uh, Registeel is a decent card. I recently saw a decklist online that was using uh, Regis, all both like both the Registeels. Yeah, rip. Eh, pretty much these latter packs suck, but you know it saves room for good pulls in Lost Thunder. I saw a deck using Registeels, so using both like baby Registeels. Ooh, Zork Lycanroc. I'm actually really surprised we haven't seen that many. I have yet to play against Blacephion. Bl I'm really surprised we haven't played against that yet. Okay, so Zork Lycanroc, I would like to say, is a pretty fair matchup. Mirror counter is huge. Now, Zork can get into one-shot territory, which is scary. But, again, they're going to take so much damage. It's really nice. So I'm just gonna pass. I'm not. I'm not gonna bench anything. Try and avoid dangerous rogue. Well, I guess we can dangerous rogue him. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew uh, nothing but non GX decks, man. Come on. Ooh, unit energy. Okay, that's an interesting card. Okay. I I think this matchup's pretty good. We have resistance to fighting, which is huge. Um, the only problem is we don't really have a good way to counter Shrine. We don't really play any Altar of the Moons. We only have one Field Blower, so that might be a problem. I honestly might have preferred Zoark here, because like if he ever wanted to do like a Dangerous Rogue KO, we would easily knock him back out. So that kind of sucks for not up against a uh, Zoark deck, but whatever. Right, there's still a lot of people playing these Shrine decks, unfortunately. So, I mean, it's still going to be a thing. But it is nice so Sigalith isn't weak to Psychic. We don't have to worry about Garboder too much. Does he get a Shrine this turn? Let's see. Double Choice Ban. That's good Field Blower Bait. Okay, good. He doesn't. Alright, so... We're not going to attack him this turn. I think I've come to accept that. I think we'll just get rid of Judge. Just going to get a Trubbish. Let's play two items. We can always find Field Blower. We'll put down you. We'll Cynthia... We can save the Kikui for a rainy day. There's Slugma, and there is a DC for next turn, so that's great. All we really need is a Field Blower in case he does get things. He's played two items. We're going to see another Nest Ball. He's only going to instruct for two, though, unless he has another supporter in his hand. We'll have to see, though. Ah, rip. He had a Lily. He had a Lily. Take our boater going down. We only played one item, and ooh, 
He's actually choosing to build up trash land. I see. I think I still would have went for Sledgehammer. But be nice. So we're gonna do this. We do have an Ultra Ball, though I don't I think I want Bane in this matchup. I guess I can get rid of the energy and the choice band. I gotta be careful how many AMs I play though. But we need probably need to get my cargo going, so we're gonna get that guy down. And I'm probably also gonna go for a good old smooth over for Shuppet, I think. I could also get Kartana. It's fine though. We can always hit Kartana here off of Kikui's maybe. Well Kikui. Lily's great. We got Switch too, that's pretty big. And yeah, with Sonic wing him. And it does one uh, 200 damage, so there you go. Take our prize. Okay, we got Sightseer, not bad. I did, I think I prized a Trubbish, which kind of sucks. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know if it was this game or last game, but I might have. Oh, he's going for the Weavile play. If he hits a Choice Band, which I don't know if he will, he already attached. Which is kind of weird. I don't know why he didn't attach the active, but okay. So now I can't really put Bayonet down because I got three abilities in play. If I put a fourth one in, I'm doomed. Ooh, I see what he's doing. He's building up Sledgehammer. Diancy does cancel the resistance out, so that's something. He's gonna Lily for three. Does he get a Macargo this turn? And more importantly, does he get the Weavile in play? If he hits Weavile choice ban, we're gonna get knocked out. Ace Roller this turn would also be kind of nice to do, but I can't do it. But overall, I think this matchup's fine. He hasn't even gotten a Shrine of Punishments down yet, which is huge. But I don't, I don't really know what this unit's doing. I mean, I guess if he's playing Duff's Mane and Garboder, but if you're playing Weavile, you don't need that. Unless, maybe he's playing Rule of Evil. Now, does he get into Ranguru off this turn? I don't think he is. He's got five and a hand. Yeah, okay, good. Now, we do get to knock out Sneasel here, thankfully. We can smooth over. Probably just grab the other Trubbish. To be honest with you. I'm, I'm actually tempted to grab Spell Tag instead. Nah, let's just grab Trubbish. No, you know what? We can get Enhanced Hammer. Or Cartana. Let's get Cartana. We're probably going to use Cartana's GX attack this game. So might as well grab him. I'm not going to play Bayonet down. No point doing it now. We'll Cartana. Get rid of that DCE. Or... The Rainbow Energy, my bad. Which Sonic wing him. Energy is beautiful. So we're basically in control right now. He hasn't put a Shrine in play. We took two prizes. He does have Sledgehammer. He's probably going to KO me this turn. This is kind of why I was tempted to grab the Spell Tag, because he's probably going to knock me out. Maybe. Okay, there's Beast Energy. So that's an extra 50. Minus 20. If he's able to hit, well, he's played two Lilies. He might not be able to do a Ranguru. He might not knock me out. He might have like a Q in hand, but I'm pretty sure he Macargoed for Beast Energy. So, yeah, he probably, yeah, he probably did Macargo for Beast Energy, right? Yeah, no, Q, so that will knock me out, right? 50. Never mind, he played a Choice Band, but that's fine. All of that to KO Sigilith, fine by me. Don't really care. And I think I'm going to bring in Bayonet this turn, guys. I think we start doing Bayonet. And we can Shady move, too. And we just knock him out. He's got a beast energy. I could have done Guzma, but he does have the beast energy on, so it's not worth it. We're going to smooth over, probably for the other Trubbish. Yeah, I think the other Trubbish is fine. No, let's actually grab Garboder. Let's get Garboder. Okay, so we'll Sightseer for one. Just get that guy down now. We do have enough supporters in the discard, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Shady move. We have to do it. Not really. So yeah, we'll just we'll just knock him out with Shadow Shame. 1-6 damage. And let's see what our prize is. Field blower. Okay, that's good. We can get rid of that, uh hopefully a shine and stuff. But we can control the shine damage. And again, we did just bump his thing, and he already did Macargo, I think. Okay, so yeah, he's probably gonna attack me here. All I'm really looking for is Ace Rolda, but I think I'm going to switch into Garboder and take the knockout. I think I'm going to switch to Garboder, so he's going to Ultra Ball. 
You just need to get an energy to not to damage me. But he's not doing as much as he wants, you know. We only have played three items this entire game, which is not a lot of energy. Oh, so he does pay Rule of Evil. Rule of Evil is a little annoying, I guess. But we can still, like, recover Kartana. Blade can also give us the win. So, we can... Well, not right now, but you get what I mean. We can Blade at any point, also. Do have a lot of villas in play. That's the only issue. But we got Guzma, so we're gonna probably Guzma this guy. Actually, I don't know. He's doing a lot of damage. I might just take the knock it with Shadow Chain. I'd really like to hit a Goose... Uh, an Ace Rolla. If I had the extra energy, I would have probably went for an Ace Rolla. Instead of Garboder, because then I can still touch the Garboder. You can still do stuff with Gartana, like. I mean, we could maybe move damage to Macargo, come with Gartana, and then Gale Blade knock him out. We can also move it on. We can knock out Trubbish in the future. Does he get the energy, though? He's played a few supporters that can get him stuff. I don't know if he can do Instruct this turn. He probably can, unless he plays down like five cards in his hand. He's got to play two cards from his hand down in order to play this Macargo. So, does he have it? Does he have it? He's only going to hit me for 92, which is not a two-shot, thankfully. No, he's going to Guzma me. Okay. Doesn't matter. I got Switch and Guzma, which I'm probably going to play. He's going to bring out Kartana. That's fine. He's going to pass. Okay. Um, we'll attach the DCE. We'll switch. I'm actually going to knock this guy out. I am weak to dark. Yeah, let's... We're going to knock out this Sneasel. I am weak to dark, which is an issue. So how many items are... How many items? How many supporters? So five. I played five supporters so far. Okay, so what we're going to do... We're definitely going to go for the Ace Roller play. We're definitely KOing him here. I'm pretty confident we are KOing him. He's probably out of choice bands. I can probably play the field blower, but I'm not going to. Okay, hold on. Are we actually KOing him? Three, four, five, four, five, six. We played six, 30, 90. Yeah, we're knocking him out. Just making sure. If we weren't knocking him out there, that would have been really bad. Oh, just barely, too. Jeez. I got a shady moved. That's fine. Grab the ace roller. I will just ace roller this guy. And, uh, really, from there, what can my opponent do? We didn't really, we didn't really get to show off Sigilyph's mirror counter in this match, but we kind of showed off all the other stuff. Sigilyph did put in quite a bit of work, also. We're showing off Bayonet, Macargo. We even got to use Cartana because he has yet to find energy for this Garboder, and he's gonna concede. All right, nice. So, despite being a matchup that can be iffy. Because, you know, you can't make use of Mirror Counter. You can still win. Um, Weavile probably was the biggest threat that my opponent could have gotten there. But he just wasn't able to get it. So that was good. That was a really good game. Beating a matchup, that can be annoying. And uh, we'll just see you guys in a minute with our game. I'm going to see if I can get a matchup where I actually play against a GX deck. And where we can make use of Mirror Counter. So I'll catch you guys in just a momento. Hi guys, let's go find a game. Please be against a GX deck. I knew it would happen though. I knew as soon as I recorded Sigilyph. I would just be up against nothing but non-GX decks. I knew that it would happen, and it has happened. It's driving me crazy. I knew it would happen. I'm like, I gotta record Sigilyph. Okay, I gotta record my Sigilyph deck. It's a fun idea. And then as soon as it happened, I knew it. I was like, everyone's just gonna be playing non-GX decks, and I'm gonna get, like, games that aren't very fun. Yeah. Now, obviously, we beat that Bus Shrine deck, but I do want to see what this deck is like against GX decks. I want to see what it's like when a GX, like has the option to knock you up, but they'll get knocked out in return. I want to see what that is like, and I haven't been able to do that. Because I knew, as soon as I recorded the video, everyone decides to play non-GX decks, which is fun. So we're going to start with Kartana, just because we have the unit energy in hand. Seems like a good idea. But I think we're up against Buzzwool. I pray we are. Like At this point, I'm going to just hit up a friend or whatever on this game and just be like, yo, I need. can you please just play a, like a GX-themed deck, please, so I can so I can get a win, because everyone's playing non-GX decks. It's, it's driving me wild. Okay, so we might be able to get some Macargo. I think this is Buzzwell, though. I'm pretty sure it's Buzzwell Ninetales. Which I will take. I am getting very sick and tired of these non-GX decks. I knew it. I knew it would happen. Okay, so... Hopefully this is Buzzwell. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, he's gonna Ultra Ball. He's gonna get rid of Macargo. He could be playing Macargo, too. 
He could be playing like a Macargo GX deck. Larvitar, okay. Hmm. I swear. I'm literally about to just call up a friend right now in this game and be like, yo, I need you. I need you, buddy. Alright, so I'm just gonna attach the energy. And I'm just gonna hold the hand. And we're just gonna take a take a prize. Let's see. Psychic energy. Okay, that's good discard bait. We can treasure. We can grab Marshadow next turn and we can knock him. Well, we can actually knock him out, which is kind of funny, but it's better than, you know, obviously Gallade is weak to think. Ooh. My boy's playing Tyranitar GX. Alright, this is... You know, I don't even get... I, even if it's not like, you know, Muzzle or Zoark or Blasephion, I'll take it. I don't even care. I'll take it. If it's a GX, I'll take it. So he's gonna drop Lele. Okay, and yeah, I guess this is the problem with Sigalith. But again, there's still a lot of good GXs. Like, if you bring this deck to a tournament, you're expecting to play against Zoark, and you know, you're expecting to play against Blasephion, and you're expecting to play against Buzzwool, so... I don't know why everyone on PC just decided to play non-GX decks at this time. I guess... I guess everyone just knows that I'm playing the, uh, playing Sigalith. They're like, you know what, I'm just not even gonna bother. But, you know what, thank... Thankfully, we're up against something that we can hopefully have fun against. Tarantar also does not one-shot me. Wow, that's a lot of energy. Okay, we're gonna just do this, do this. We'll play the Marshadow. I mean, I, I could've just grabbed just another Stiglyph, but it's fine. We'll grab Marshadow. We don't need a Shuffle either, I don't think, because we can just hit him with Gateway. Okay, we got Ultra Ball. Uh, do I get rid of Field Blown Stretcher? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna get a Ranguru here. Now let's get Slugma. Let's just get the Macargo going. Unfortunately, he's resistant psychic, so Garbodor won't do much damage. He has played three items. Um, thankfully, Sigil's gonna deal with that. Well, Cynthia. Okay, we got Trubbish. We'll probably Ultra Ball the Trubbish away. We'll get rid of Trubbish. And I guess Ace Rolla. That kind of hurts, because Ace Rolla is good in this matchup. And we'll grab Sigilith. We'll just get the Sigilith down now. Ace Roll is good, though. If he's not going to one-shot me, but he does have that GX tag. But hey, if he does it, he knocks himself up. So what is Gale Blade? And we will stay in the active, because I'm pretty sure my uh, Kartana is safe. Pretty sure Kartana is safe. My boy's chilling. Uh, it's kind of funny, though, that we didn't one-shot the Slugma, considering there's a 70 HP one. I am giving my point of time to build up that T-Tar, but I'm fine. You know what? I'll take what I can get. So he's going to Rare Candy again into Swampert. He can attack me with Swampert. I'm assuming he's playing Super Boost Energy. So he definitely needs that. Let's get Power Draw. Let's get rid of Brooklyn Hill. Okay. He's going to Lily. He's got another Larvitar. Alright. Larvitar could also be Broody pretty detrimental to me. I mean, it's resistance, but it still can do enough damage to take me out. And just a pass. Okay, so we'll attach Psychic. We'll put down my boy Macargo. We'll Cynthia. How many support? Okay, actually, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to play Bane in this matchup. Okay. Um, we'll, hmm. So what are the odds Kartana gets KO'd next turn? Pretty high, actually. Well, I don't want to say that, but he could hit a super boost energy here. How many items has he played? He's played four. Hmm. I think what I'm actually going to do... Take the knockout. We'll shuffle, go back into Sigalith. Okay, so we'll do this. Um, what, what supporter do I... What do I want to grab with Smooth Over? I guess we'll just get Enhanced Hammer. Just in case he does put a super boost energy on. Because that's, that's how I'm expecting how he's going to take a knockout. He's going to play super boost energy. Let's just do this. We'll Gale Blade, knock him out. We are going to return to the deck. Take an extra prize. Bayonet. Yeah, Bayonet's pretty useless. I mean, it might be better. If there's no Tyranitar threat in play, Bayonet can still be useful to, like, deal with Swampert. And we'll bring out Sigla. Because I am expecting a super boost energy to come down. Now, I have enough HP to survive an attack from Rus Dusty Ruckus. So he's going to take a knockout this turn. He has to take a lay the smackdown knockout which okay surprisingly enough i'll actually survive but see this is why the spell tag is important folks that damage won't matter Ooh, cupitar okay never mind it's from this pokemon i was like 
I thought that confused me for some reason, but it doesn't. Okay, timer ball again. Double tails. Okay, let's see what he gets. Is that a Macargo? That was a Macargo GX, I think, yeah. I see the strategy. Macargo GX with... Okay, I actually... That's a pretty good idea. I like it. I rate it. I rate the idea. It's got power draw. Get rid of the Macargo GX, okay. I actually, this is a pretty cool idea, though, with Tyrantar. Ooh, the counter gain out of nowhere. All right, I got you, fam. But you take the knockout, you get knocked out in return. How much HP? 250. So we got to put all the damage on him. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, this is why that uh, spell counter card is so good. Yeah, you can see. It's... I figured he would do that. Hey, we got a Burning Shadows pack. But there you go. That is the power of Sigilyph, guys. That is what Sigilyph can do. Just something evil like that. Um, I want to play more games with the deck. I think I'll do one more game. I was thinking of wrapping up the video, but we got our GX. You know, we showed off why this thing counters GX is so well. I'm happy we finally got that. So I'm just going to, you know, do another game. Ooh, Dark Ray GX. Nice. I got three locked. Okay. We got. Okay, I'll take it. I will take that. Would have been nice to get a fuller Goose Goose. But uh, we'll do one more game. We got, our, we got our GX showcase, technically, even though that was barely a GX showcase. But whatever, I'll take it. Ooh, another Buzz Guard deck, maybe? Hmm. Again, I knew I was just, it was going to be nothing but GX, non-GX decks. I kind of caught a lucky break there, I think, against that. Okay, so let's see what we get. Uh, starting hand. All right, Marshadow and Slugma. Hmm. I think I actually start with Marshadow. Because it has resistance to fighting, so it can actually tank a hit. Slugma, not so much. So yeah, I don't think so. I think Marsh Shadow's better starter. It doesn't really matter what I start with, I don't think, so it's fine. Bayonet's probably going to be useful in this game again. Okay, so we'll bench the Slugma. I don't think he's playing Weavile. I didn't see any types. Ooh. My boy. It's not even okay. It's, it's... I see you. This is... Okay, we are up against a... Uh, a second. Now this is good. So we're gonna get Sigilyph. Sigilyph is really good in this matchup. Unless like he beats me with a Deoxys. But we're not weak to Psychic, so there's really good advantage there. I wanted to keep Bayonet. Bayonet I can see being useful against this guy. Okay. Ultra Ball. Hmm. If we had him a Cargo, we could get like a Guzma here. I want to Guzma this up. This thing will one-shot itself, so I want to Guzma this guy up. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna play Ultra Ball. We're gonna get rid of an Energy and an Enhanced Hammer. And we are gonna get Oranguru. We're gonna draw an extra card. I'm looking for Guzma. Well, I mean, we can also hit a Switch combo, so. Ooh, Nest Ball. Alright, well, Nest Ball for... Probably just Trubbish. Just say, hey, I got Garbodor in the deck. Just, just note that. And all we really knew is we get Macargo next turn, we can try and get a Switch, Switch into Sigilyph, or find a Guzma. I do want to damage this thing, because if he hits me for 120, we can also finish him off with, you know, if we already damaged him, so that's fine. But to be fair, Intercept can take a big knockout. But finally, we got two GX matchups in a row. Wow, I'm, a I'm actually kind of surprised that is the case. I thought it was going to be nothing but non-GX decks today, but nope, not, not, not the case. She's gonna grab a Lily for... Okay, it's gonna be able to get, like, seven cards. Only one item so far. Alright, here we go. Lily for seven. But overall, Sigilyph just tanks in this matchup. It tanks hard. Hopefully we can draw, like, a Garboda or something to evolve it, so I can draw two cards as Instruct or something. Or just draw a Macargo. Macargo would be great. So I can, like, Guzma... Get early damage on this thing. Because, again, if he attacks me with Prismatic Burst, he's gonna knock himself out. I'm pretty sure you also Black Ray... Okay, rip, we didn't get it. I could go Macargo here, but then I got a rid of DC, and I don't like that. So we'll instruct for one. We got Lily. I'm just going to do Cynthia. We'll save the Lily for when we get Macargo. We didn't get Macargo. We do have Guzma, though, so that's fine. And we'll just pass. And another thing, it's like he wants to Moons Eclipse me, and he takes all that big damage. We'll see if we're safe this turn, too. 
But again, if he attacks my Sigilyph, it does not matter. He might target Slugma. I'm pretty sure he got a Guzma off that. Like, there's no way he didn't. He's probably going to Guzma my Slugma. No, he's not. He's going to Cynthia. Okay, we're safe. I was not expecting to be safe this turn. And he's actually going to attack me? Oh, are you... Okay. I'm actually fine with that. Uh, that's actually really good. That's really, really good. Can we draw my cargo? Because I want to build up another Sigilyph. Now we got another spell take. We'll just play that down on Trubbish. How many items has he played? Still only one. Great. What is Duke Akui? Nice. We got my cargo. Beautiful. We're getting him for a... Oh, we can just knock him out. Oh, yeah. We'll just knock him out. That's fine. Uh, We'll put down... Sigilyph. Yeah, we want to do that. We'll do this. Probably just for DC. Just so we can attack him next turn, just in case. Because I'm assuming he's probably going to pull off a Marsh Shadow Play. And then go for, like, a Moon's Eclipse. But Intercept GX. Taking him down. Bye bye. 200 damage. Nice. There's a Srola. There's a Sightseer. Pretty good. That's the power of Sigilus Intercept, folks. Just one shots of Dawn Wings. If we had a choice band on, we would do even more damage. But yeah, that, that's pretty good. Intercept can also be nice to, like, smoke a Gardevoir, too. Something to note. Just something to keep your back of your mind. It's gonna bring out the Lele. Let's see what he can do this turn. This wall is huge. Now. I'm assuming he is playing Mimikyu. He can't Mimikyu me, though, thankfully. He's probably playing Deoxys. He's probably got a few non GX stackers. Even Malamar could attack me. And I can't one-shot Malamar without the choice, the Kikui. So there's that. He's gonna play Sepalkis. Alright. Two more energies. But really, like, Necrozma can't really knock me out. Because if he does, he's gonna get himself KO'd. And if he doesn't, Sonic Wing can pick him off very easily. Even though he'll live with 20 HP. Aw, oh, rip. I wanted him to play that. It's fine, though. It's an Ultra Ball again. My opponent's making some big moves this turn. Big moves. I actually want him to go... How much energy? This guy's discarded, like, 10 energies. Oh, Okay, I knew there was going to be a big non-GX Pokemon. There it is. How many items has he played? Three, five, four. Four, so we're going to do 80 to that. All right, so this thing needs to be dealt with. And I'm just going to Guzma that up now and just get damage on it while I can. I don't think I can rig this hand either to, like, potentially get, like, a, a choice band to get this guy. But I think we're just going to have to get this thing damaged ASAP. We have to hit that thing ASAP. I would like to attack him, though, with the spell tag guy. Because I can move the four damage, put two on here, and then I have to find choice band. And also Garboder can knock him out, too. So that's a bit of an issue. I'd like to attack him with this guy. Alright, what do we draw? Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> Good meme. Well, Guzma... Bring up this guy, full moon star. Well, Macargo. What am I looking for? I think we, f we finish him off with. I think we finish him off with Garboder. So we'll, we'll get we'll get a Garboder for next turn. We'll do another Sightseer Macargo combo, hopefully. And uh, we will be able to get this psychic energy, and then we'll just attack him with Garboder. I think it's better to take the KO with Garboder because he's probably going to another non-GX Pokemon. We can always build another Garb. And he's only played four items, so... Garboder's not effective right now, so I don't know. Would like to get rid of Enhanced Hammer, though, so that's going to be a nice little discard we can do. He is going to knock me out, unfortunately. We can also just Malamar on his own board, so even if he doesn't have the knockout, he does have it, though. Like, 20 damage times, like... 80, 100, 120, 150, just an insane damage. And he's not a GX, so... We don't get the bonus of Sigilyph. This is kind of where it would be nice to have the spell tag, because, again, I can put damage on Necrozma. It can get killed that way, because the 20 damage goes a long way when I'm only hitting for 160 with Garboder right now, and with Sigilyph. Ooh, a Judge. Okay. That kind of changes everything. I mean, I can still knock him out with Sigilyph. Or get the Garboder, and I can just attack him, and, yeah, okay, that still works in the end. It's also the why, I, you can see why I don't like Lele, because Lele would be a target right now for my opponent. Please retreat in Prismatic Burst. Please do it, do it, I dare you. Okay, another item getting played, nice. And just a Psy Storm, which will knock me out, but does not matter. So we don't get the ability of Sigilyph to work here. 
And yeah, your opponent can't play around Sigilith. But we get Garbodor. He could kill me with Malamar, which is the only thing I'm kind of worried about. We'll see what happens. He might actually go for the Malamar KO. Okay, you know what? Maybe I... Yeah, you know what? I think I have to take him out Sigilith and then hope he doesn't have a big response, because... Yeah, to be fair, he can knock him out with Malamar, and I actually don't want to walk into that. We'll play Coco down. And yeah, we'll knock him out Sonic Wind. Yeah, we could easily get KO'd by Malamar, I just realized. So, like, a Psychic Spear would knock me out, and I don't like that. Yeah, I think that was a good way to avoid. Make him just take, like, double KO. And then... Trash Lance should finish off, hopefully, anything he brings out. Yep, baby Mewtwo. He can attack me with that, I guess, if he wants. No Guzma, though, really sucks. That's Maybe I yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Cause if, I, if I didn't bring out Garbodor, I could have just grabbed Guzma. Because I had the Coco. My bad. I can KO him, though, with Sigilith. So that's fine. He's not knocking me out. Because, again, we are not weak to Psychic. If Sigilith weak to Psychic, this card would... Not be as good, because there's so many good Psychic Pokemon that can deal with Sigilyph, but because he isn't, you can see where it's good. I gotta watch out for a Black Ray play, because Sigilyph has to be our active, so if he's ever on the bench, you get Black Ray me. Oh, he's going for the Guzma. Ah, shoot. This game might just end in a tie, it looks like. This game is gonna end in a tie, I think, because... Okay. One, two... If I can draw Guzma, which I still have one left, that'd be nice. Doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna spread the damage out. Game may or may not end in a tie, though. Alright, so I'll bring up the Coco. Guzma, nope. Okay. Doesn't matter, everything on the bench is pretty weak, so play down Trubbish. Definitely get my, we'll get the Guzma for next turn. He might be able to bring something out that can take a hit from Sigilyph, so. Definitely good to get the Guzma. We'll just burn this. And we'll knock him out Sonic Wing. Okay. We should have game next turn. He can't win the game. He can win the game, but it'll end in a tie. So he either ties the match, or he tries to bring out another attacker and then hopes I didn't grab Guzma or something like that, because he already sees two in the discard. That's, I guess, the best way to end this game off. I mean, if he just black raised me, which, well, it doesn't matter. He can't do that. So Cynthia. Sigliff should be safe. I highly doubt he's got, like, some crazy lightning attack. Gonna treasure. Again, I don't think there's anything he can get to one-shot me. Okay, Mewtwo, that's fine. We still win the game. He'll side strike me, and then side strike will finish him off. Unless somehow this man was able to put a funny fury bell in his deck, which obviously is not the case. So yeah, we're we're able to tie the game up at least. This is the first time I've tied a game on PCGO. He is weak to psychic. Oh, maybe oh actually I think what he's gonna do. Maybe still win the game, but I think what he's gonna do is he's not he's gonna like not do that much damage to me. Or he's going for it? Never mind. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he's not gonna take Psy Strike and tie the game. Maybe what he's gonna do is he's gonna attack me, not for too much, and then just hope I don't have Guzma. That's I think what he's doing. No, he's gonna tie the game. Alrighty then. Well, that's that. We tie the match. <laughs> I'm dying, dude. I tied the game. That is hilarious. Well, there you go. Sigalift tying the match against Malamar. Never had a tie on this game before. We're about to find out what that is like. <laughs> Tied the game, bro. Whoa, what? The game ain't over? What do you mean, brother? Okay. Oh, I think it's the first person to take a prize. I have never tied on this game. That is insane. Hmm. And before I make it easy... Imagine if I started with Sigilyph and he prized every non-GX attacker in his deck. That could one-shot me. And then all of a sudden, I, we tie the game again. Can you imagine if that happened? This guy gets a good start. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll nest ball. We can get Sigilyph. 
This is going to be a little intense, though, folks. Oh, we prized Makarko, rip. I think I'm going to just Marshadow him. Heart of the Marshadow. Okay. Oh, this guy says a happy face. Dang it. <laughs> oh, wait, did I forget to play my supporter for the turn? I did. I deserve to lose. I deserve to lose. Okay, I deserve to lose, because I could have won, honestly, if, if Cynthia gave me choice ban and stuff, I could win. Ugh, rip. I shouldn't have gave him that new hand. I was going for it, though. Okay, so it's going to pass. We probably lose next turn, right? Cynthia... All right, let's see a switch in a DC. No. Not even Garbodor can damage him. Holy cow. Okay. Hmm. We'll do this. We'll grab... Yeah, the fact that we can't garb him kind of stinks. Literally, because Garbodor is a piece of garbage. Um... Do I just put the Garbodor? It doesn't matter, right? Like, two energies, full burst KOs me, super resource still KOs me. I could go Bayonet, actually. Yeah, let's grab Bayonet. Or Shuffle. I don't know. Hmm. If Macargo was a prize, I think we'd be okay. If we could have gotten Macargo this turn. We don't have that option, though. That sucks. that sucks. We just gotta hope he doesn't win. Do I even wanna... Do I put this on the Shepard or I move it to the Sigilet? Or do I just do Stomp Off? I think... Yeah, we can go for Stomp Off. QE, DC, get Garboder. Maybe I should have set up that play. Let's do a Stomp Off. Man, that's... We got rid of a Dawn Wings, which is good. Oh my gosh, he has game. No... Does he have game? There's nothing on my bench he can knock out with Mewtwo. There's nothing on my bench he kills Mewtwo. 7 HP, 7 HP. Oh, why? Okay, you know what? I deserve to lose. I shouldn't have grabbed Shuppet. Ugh, I thought Shuppet had 7 HP for some dumb reason there, but at, that was before I realized he could do that. I didn't think he'd be able to pull that off, though, so fair play to my opponent. I've never won in a tie. I've never had a tie before on this game, but I guess there you go. That's what tying is like. That is what it's like. And that is very annoying that we lost, but it's fine. I kind of made some stupid misplays there, but whatever. It's fine. That is Ziggler for you. Basically almost beat that Malamar deck. Tied it, so fair and fair. But I've never tied in this game. That's what it's like. If you've ever been curious. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Help me on the road hitting 4,000 subs. If you're not subscribed, help me hit 4K subs. Please, Nikki. And I'll see you guys on another PCJO video. Peace out.